As a quick side note, this video is a bonus for the very first video I released on this channel, a brief history of the Mother or Earthbound series. If you're interested in watching that one before getting into this one, just check out the card appearing on screen now. In 1989, a video game titled Mother was released in Japan on Nintendo's video game console, the Famicom. Mother was a JRPG, or Japanese role-playing game, but it was a bit different. Set in America during the 1980s, you controlled a group of kids faced with an extraordinary situation, but even more extraordinary is Mother's journey outside of Japan. Mother is a difficult game to sum up in a short amount of time, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Imagine a setting built out of classic Americana, suburban neighborhoods, baseball, typical American towns and cities, and a healthy dose of the nostalgic feeling you might get while watching something like an hour gang short film or reading a Peanuts comic. Throw in some classic Golden Age sci-fi comic book, fiction, and film tropes, as well as the typical JRPG gameplay like random encounters and turn-based combat, and you have a pretty good idea of how Mother feels. You might be thinking this would be a great fit for Western audiences, and the truth is, Nintendo of America thought so too. Despite the fact that RPGs weren't exactly a thing with American audiences at the time, Nintendo decided to dedicate quite a bit of time and effort to bringing Mother to the West. Led by Phil Sandhop, who already had some experience at Nintendo, a localization team began working on bringing Mother to the West. One of the first things Nintendo changed in the localization process was the name. Mother series creator Shikisato Itoi had multiple reasons for naming the game Mother, including after the John Lennon song of the same name, and because the game had various themes of motherhood within it. But there were fears that the name wouldn't go over so well in the West because, frankly, it's an odd title. There were also concerns that it would cause confusion and wasn't a very compelling title for a video game. So the decision was made that it would be renamed in the West. That name change was Earthbound. In 1990, when localization work was being done on Mother, Nintendo of America had a very strict censorship policy. That meant anything that could be deemed offensive or controversial had to be altered or cut, including cigarettes and alcohol, blood, religious references, and many more. Additionally, in Mother, towns and cities were named after holidays, but in the localized game, these names were changed in various ways. For example, the town of Mother's Day became Podunk, and the city of Valentine became the cleverly named L.A. Mother wasn't an easy project to localize, and work continued on, bleeding into the release of Nintendo's next major console, the Super Famicom, or Super Nintendo Entertainment System in the West. This led to even more doubts that the game would sell well in the West, as almost all attention was shifted to the new console, and again, RPGs were not yet very popular outside of Japan. Thus, the Earthbound project was axed, leaving all the hard work and dedication by the localization team lost in time, when the game was essentially completely finished. While it seemed that Mother would go without a Western release, its sequel Mother 2 for the Super Famicom was localized and released as Earthbound, using the title that the previous game would have. While the game bombed in America upon its initial release in 1995, it would soon gain a fanbase, a cult following. This fanbase would lead to the revival of a relic that many fans had no idea existed. During the ill-fated localization process of Mother, Multiple prototype cartridges were created to test the game on actual hardware. As luck would have it, many of these cartridges escaped their confines at Nintendo, and one eventually ended up in the hands of collector Kenny Brooks. This was major news for Earthbound fans, who had no idea localization was even planned, much less finished. The game was borrowed for $400 by Demiforce, a hacking group that was working on a fan translation of Mother on their own before Brooks posted on a message board about the prototype. This was a risky move, as Brooks could have easily been scamming the group out of money for a bogus prototype. But fortunately for Demiforce and the Mother community, it was the real deal. After dumping the ROM image of the game and renaming it Earthbound Zero to distinguish it from the official Mother 2 translation, it was released online. Finally, the Earthbound community had a way to play the first game in the Mother series in English, even using an official Nintendo localization. And for a very long time, that was it. Fans were able to play the game, but there was no truly official way to enjoy it. There was Tomato's fan translation of the mother half of Mother 1 Plus 2, which was much more faithful to the original game and maintained more of the wit that Mother had, as opposed to the original localization that was rather dry in comparison. Prototypes of the mother localization would show up here and there, but there was no news of an official release, and who would have ever expected one? On June 14th, 2015, 
The revival of the Nintendo World Championships competition was in full force. Suddenly, in front of a huge crowd, a giant screen revealed Shigesato Itoi, creator of the Mother series. He announced that the first game in the Mother series would finally get a worldwide release. The game would soon become known, officially, as Earthbound Beginnings, and was released on the Wii U Virtual Console after the Nintendo World Championships event was over. Words cannot describe how huge this was, especially for a group of fans that had dealt with the lack of releases in one of their favorite series. As a longtime Mother fan myself, I remember being overjoyed at the announcement, joining in on the celebrations with all the friends I had gained from this truly special fanbase. Because if there's one thing this series does, it brings people together. At long last, Mother was brought over for fans new and old to enjoy.